Hello my friend, happy Tuesday and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and I'm a wafer paper artist and cake designer from astashkinacakes.com. Today in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create wafer paper silver dollar eucalyptus. You can see all the beautiful colors and sizes and textures. So let's begin. So first thing what we need to do to create our wafer paper eucalyptus is our template. We are going to use this side of our template for the silver dollar eucalyptus and we are going to use wafer paper. I have just a simple sheet of wafer paper folded in half here and brand I used today is Saracina which is 0.27 millimeters. I find that for leaves and something thicker using higher number like 0.27 millimeters wafer paper is easier because it gives all the textures and like the thickness we need for our wafer paper. So I have my template, one piece of wafer paper and I'll prepare my wire. Today I'm going to use 26 gauge wire and work as my stem and I'm going to cut it in fourth. So here I have a few pieces of 26 gauge wafer paper and I'm going to use my conditioner recipe if you're going to download this template my template for the wafer paper eucalyptus you will get all the recipes and everything you need to create your conditioner but basically my wafer paper conditioner or acetonic is a glycerin based mixture it's a food grade glycerin I use Wilton brand, but any brand will do as long as it's a food grade. So it's a glycerin and water mixed together. And I find that this mixture works beautifully with wafer paper because it will help soften wafer paper just enough to make it pliable, but not melt it. So I will take a few drops of this conditioner mixture here on my palette. And for my colors I've been experimenting and playing around, I'm going to use a combination of this two gel color olive by Americolor and juniper green this one by Wilton. Both are beautiful nice color to make foliage and I wanted to have a mixture of these colors because I want to have some variation in color. So I will take small amount of this gel color onto my palette like this and same for this olive color. This olive is a little bit more on the brown side, so if you do not have any specific colors, the same colors I use, just choose anything like forest green or foliage green and add a little bit of brown. Because what I'm looking for is something in this shade. And next, what I'm going to need is my floral pot. Here, I'll bring it here. And I'm going to cut my template for my leaves. Today I'm going to show you a little bit different way how to make wafer paper leaves and the same method would work for any foliage you're going to make with wafer paper or something where you want it to be thicker and more textural and more leaf-like not just like a petal because this method for petals is not the best one because it makes your wafer paper double thickness. So I'm going to take my large template first and cut roughly a strip of wafer paper according to size of my template. And I have two layers bumpy side up because I'm going to sandwich my wire in between two layers of wafer paper to create my one leaf. So here I have my one template or one leaf and here is the second one. And number of leaves or branches you need for this application is up to you. How big you want it to make your silver dollar eucalyptus but basically I would suggest you to start with making at least three or four leaves in each size. I'll start with my large one and I have two layers of FIFA paper and I'm going to sandwich my wire in between. So for my conditioner I'm going to take this juniper green by Wilton and you can see that color I used just a little bit small amount of gel color to color my conditioner and to change it's too green, but I want it to be a little bit more on a darker brown side. So I'm going to add a touch of this 
gel color olive by mirror color and maybe a touch more of this juniper green by Weldon because I want this mixture to be relatively saturated in color because then it will be easier to add texture and color to our leaves so here I have my conditioner I'm working on a waterproof or non-porous surface and I have two layers of my vapor paper roughly my template and a piece of 26 gauge wire so first thing I'm going to load my brush and check if I have enough moisture and gently paint on shiny side of one of the pieces of vapor paper then I'm going to place my wire in the middle about maybe two thirds of the way because i want this wire to be inside my leaf and we are going to cut these leaves after we conditioned everything and sandwich with another piece of wifi paper now i have my wifi paper dry on both sides and it's double thickness and i have my 26 gauge wire in between to cut my leaf i'm going to place my template on top of this wifi paper sandwich and i'm going to take a pair of sharp scissors and cut through all layers together on one side be careful not to cut your wire and for me it's easier to turn it on the other side and cut the same shape on the other side or you can freehand this you don't need to use a template i just love using my templates because it gives me guidance and then create a leaf or a shape i like and i'm going to remove any extra pieces of wafer paper and now i have my first leaf like the large size here you can see on this template so this is my large size leaf and to color this again i will take my brown or olive colored gel color and take a little bit more of this wafer paper conditioner and mix it on my table because i wanted this to be a little bit more saturated and darker in color and i find it's easier to add a touch of gel color just a little bit more a little bit more depends on the color you want and i'm going to color this leaf on both sides like this and set it aside to dry while we are making our other leaves so here again i have my wafer paper roughly the size of my template shiny side up i'm going to load my brush paint very thin amount i don't need a lot i just need some amount of moisture to stick my second piece of wafer paper on top so i'm sandwiching my wire in between two layers of wafer paper and sticking them together now i have bumpy side on this side and bumpy side up on this side and where my wire starts i'm going to place my template on top and cut through all these layers together so here it is and you can use this method to create any foliage you want when you need something double thickness and then paint again with just a touch more of gel color and conditioner here on my side and it will take maybe two to five minutes to dry depends on your humidity but if it's melting if it's too sticky you can take a touch of your cornstarch on your fluffy brush but make sure that you remove as much cornstarch as possible from your brush and it's not totally dusted and covered in cornstarch because then your wafer paper can become very brittle if you're using a lot of cornstarch so just a touch on both sides and you can take your ball tool or you can take a dresden tool if you wanted to give it a little bit more shape and movement you can gently run your ball tool on your wafer paper while it's still soft and create any textures you want you can also if you're going to make any types different types of leaves you can pinch it here and create more like a leaf shape for me this is beautiful and i will set it aside to dry so you can see this takes maybe a minute or two to create a leaf and then you can pre-made as many leaves as you need for your 
arrangement if you wanted to make larger branch or longer branch if you wanted to. So now I'm going to dust them and tape and put them together. So I have two petal dust here. One is hot pink mixed with chocolate and this is chocolate color. The hot pink is by the Global Sugar Art and chocolate is by the Crystal Color. So here to dust my leaves I wanted to dust them on the outside and I'm going to take my petal dust. I'll take a glove because this petal dust they're getting everywhere so I'm going to take a glove just to protect my hands. So I'm going to take my large leaf first and my petal dust mixture and I'm going to apply this only on the outside and on top of my leaf on both sides. So I'm going to dust all my leaves this way. You can substitute hot pink for any pink color you like. I happen to have this color and I happen to like this color so that's why I'm using this. But any pink color to add accents or even if you're making your arrangement in any specific color like purple or maybe you have orange or peach flowers, feel free to add your colors to your foliage as well if you're going to dust your flowers for example in maybe peach color. Feel free to add the same peach color to your foliage to this eucalyptus because then when you're going to assemble everything together it is going to look cohesive and that's the main point of using any petal dust to make everything look put together and beautiful. So now to assemble my leaves and to put together my branch I'm going to use brown floral tape and I'm going to cut it in half. I'm using this gem tool because I wanted my tape to be half width for this application like this. And now I have a few pieces half width of floral tape. And I'm going to tape every leaf first before assembling them together. So here I'm going to stretch my half wheel floral tape and I will start with my large leaves, sticking floral tape to itself and taping this down. Make sure to stretch your floral tape very nicely because floral tape contains wax and it won't stick to anything else but it will stick to itself. So that's the point in stretching is to activate all the glue, non-toxic glue in between layers of this floral tape. And make sure you keep your floral tape 90 degrees to your stem. That means you will go down on your stem and tape everything nicely and very neatly. And now I'm going to put them together. So I'll take two of the small ones first and I will start taping them maybe one inch down, leaving some stem visible. Then I'll take medium size, again one inch visible and tape them down and another maybe in this size. So here I have four and I will take one of this. So here is going to be my first branch like this. I have it here. So this is my first branch for my eucalyptus. I'll take another piece of tape and create another branch same way. And I'm going to tape them together using my next number of leaves. And I can take full with floral tape because I wanted to make it a little bit thicker. So I'll start with this one, add my one branch here, tape them together, take another leaf, my next branch, because I want them to be on a different level to each other. So here's my next one and my leaves, my large leaves. And here I'm going to add a piece of 20 gauge wire just to extend this and make it longer to be able to insert this into a cake. And my last leaves like that. So here I have my silver dollar eucalyptus branch. I'm going to place my leaves and make it 
interesting so you can move them around the way you want it to and make sure that every leaf is visible and beautiful because we spend so much time creating these leaves and shaping them make sure that you like the placement and you have some movement in your branch last step what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a touch of this brilliant sparkle or any pearl color will work for this application you can use a brush or i personally prefer to use my finger you can see how sparkly it is and using my finger i'm going to gently highlight only one side of the sleeves i prefer to do this when it's already assembled and then i can create highlights and low lights just only one side of my leaf and here small touches because it's called silver dollar so it should be shiny and it should look like a silver dollar that's why just a small amount of pearl color any pearl color or any shine don't be afraid especially if you're making wedding cakes or you're creating cakes for birthdays or any celebrations when there are a lot of sparkles and a lot of shine to bring this whole thing together i will take my mixture of hot pink dust with chocolate dust and use small amount on a relatively fluffy and soft brush and just gently brush on my floral tape again to make it look cohesive and to bring everything together because we use the same pink and brown combination for our leaves and the same color would be nice to use a little bit on our floral tape and because floral tape when it's fresh and you just stretch it and assemble together it will stay sticky for some time so you can easily dust your floral tape if you need it to like this thank you so much for joining me today now you know how to make your own wave paper silver dollar eucalyptus how to create all these beautiful textures how to color and tape everything together i hope you learned something new don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel for the youtube algorithm it helps me a lot to know if you like my tutorials and i'll see you next week same time same place bye bye